I have a set of Testo gauges that I use here and there, not all the time, because a lot of the machines that I work on, uh, they already have uh, digital uh, readouts of temperatures and, uh, you know, uh, pressures and all that, so I don't really use it as often. But, uh, you know, I used it about uh, three weeks ago, and the whole damn thing was leaking inside, so I went back to my supply house where I purchased it from. Uh, about eight months ago, which was United, and I sent out my Testo for repair, but uh, they sent me back a brand new one. So, uh, just gotta let you guys know that, uh, you know, Testo really honored the warranty, and uh, they took care of me. They gave me a brand new uh, Testo 550, which is right here, and I was pretty shocked. I was uh, surprised. I thought they were going to repair it and send it back to me, but... They gave me a brand new one, so which is pretty cool, man. Uh, from what the guy told me, they gave me a brand new one. And I don't know how true it is, but it looks brand new. And uh, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Um, I don't know, put it in your phone. You, you gotta take the train to uh, Spring Street. Yeah. So, uh, I used to meet somebody before I started working as an HVAC technician. <laughs> All right. So, so this is what I was saying. Uh, pretty much, you know, uh, there's a way to maintain, maintain these boilers, you gotta take them apart, clean the little... I'll shut them open, clean the little cone-shaped uh, screen they have inside. But uh, for some reason, this guy just kept on uh, going uh, into a lockout every uh, three weeks or so, two weeks or so. And I was coming here, resetting the damn thing, looking to see what the problem was. and and. Uh, you know, couldn't figure this damn thing out. So what I did was, I, for some reason, I just leaned towards the, the fan wall ignition module. So what I did was I took it out of this one, which was the one that's giving me a problem, put it into here, keeping in contact with the concierge. And for sure, sure enough, this guy was going into, it went into a lockout. Uh, you know, actually I had it in there for a week, so it went into a lockout, and this one didn't. So pretty sure that this is the problem because there's nothing else in there there's a lot of work to this and uh i had to replace this pump not too long ago i did the other one and uh, i had that on a video what is that one right there and then this one died <laughs> it's just crazy one after so i'm gonna shut off the power Slides up this way. Okay. Show you my light. It's actually waterproof. This comes separate. You just uh, screw it onto it and close it in. It's from Sears. Pretty handy light. It's not too bright, but it works nice. I 
I look like I'm like the repo nut with the camera on my head. Except it's not a GoPro. <laughs> Love that show, man. Love that guy. It's a hard job. Dealing with all those people, not easy. Good guy, Matt. Um, what I really like about Matt is that he gives the people a chance to get their stuff out of the cars and stuff like that. He, you know, tries to help them out. A lot of people don't do that. New York City, especially, is, is hook and go. There's no uh, talking to people and, uh, you know, if you need to get your stuff out, get it now. None of that stuff is happening. Much the same. Pretty much the same. See the model number three five six seven nine six five. Yep. Four second ignition time. Four second. Three tries. I don't know how many tries this one is, but it's pretty much the same. This one actually gives you more of a error code flashes. This one is six seven eight. This one only has one two three four five. I put one. This is the newer one, so let's install this baby in there, and uh, hopefully that uh, this is what resolves the issue. I mean, you know, that kind of proved it. You know, I took it out of that one, put it in here, and uh, it kind of proved it that uh, it is the ignition module. I don't know what other proof that uh, I can give myself. So, and uh, this thing is not cheap. This thing. Uh, a lot of money, over three hundred dollars. Okay, that's done. So we're fired up. We're good to go. No fall. I screwed up. I put the ground bags in. already satisfied this is the one I took it out of put it in here and then this one was going to lock out that's how I determined that it was this baby right here so that's that's the story I'm sticking to it you know and uh and there we go we're satisfied hopefully we're satisfied yes we are no fault no fault, baby. Let me just close this back up.